rules regulating campaign finance are absolute insanity. Virtually anything goes, you can do things that seem wildly immoral to regular people, and yet the vast, vast majority of the politicians who exist in this environment act as if everything makes sense. Uh, but some, thankfully, cast light on how ridiculous the situation is, and today we have one of those. That is the Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who was interviewing some guests at a congressional hearing, and she played a game of hypotheticals about what she could get away with under the current system. So I want to show a couple of those videos. Here's the first. Let's play a lightning round game. I'm going to be the bad guy, which I'm sure half the room would agree with anyway, and um, and I want to get away with as much bad things as possible, ideally to enrich myself and advance my interest, even if that means putting, uh, putting my interests ahead of the American people. So, uh, Mrs. Hobart Flynn, oh, and by the way, I have enlisted all of you as my co-conspirators, so you're going to help me legally get away with all of this. So, Mrs. Hobart Flynn, I want to run. If I want to run a campaign that is entirely funded by corporate political action committees, is that is there anything that legally prevents me from doing that? No. Okay, so let's say I'm a really, really bad guy. And let's say I have some skeletons in my closet that I need to cover up so that I can get elected. Um, Mr. Smith, is it true that you wrote this article, this opinion piece for the Washington Post entitled, these payments to women were unseemly, that doesn't mean they were illegal? Well, I can't see the piece, but I wrote a piece under that headline in the Post, so I assume that's right. Okay, so so far the law won't stop her from getting in there purely backed by corporate interests, using the money that she's given to silence her critics or people who know information about her that needs to get out. Um, but what about the legislation she could push once she gets in with that money? Here's some more from uh, AOC. Mrs. Hobart Flynn, is there any hard limit that I have in terms of what legislation I'm allowed to touch? Are there any limits on the laws that I can write or influence especially if I'm based on the special interest funds that I accepted to finance my campaign and get me elected in the first place. There's no limit. So there's none. So I can be totally funded by oil and gas. I can be totally funded by big pharma. Come in, write big pharma laws, and there's no limits to that whatsoever. That's right. Okay, so awesome. Is there anything preventing me from holding stocks, say, in an oil or gas company? and then writing laws to deregulate that, that industry and cause, you know, that could potentially cause the stock value to soar and accrue a lot of money in that time. You could do that. So I could do that. I could do that now with the way our current laws are, are set up. Yes? Yes. Okay, great. So that seems crazy, I think we can all agree. There's a lot more to the video, you can see those at uh, Think Progress's Frank, Frank Dale's Twitter account, that's at FW Dale, he's collected a few more of the interactions. But already you can see what she's hoping to do there. Everything that she is revealing, that they're allowed to get away with in terms of how they fund their campaigns, how they can uh, benefit their donors once they get into office, once they can personally enrich themselves by crafting legislation to advantage the, the companies whose stocks they own. We get all of that because we've been paying attention, but to the regular person out there who doesn't necessarily think or you know talk a lot about campaign finance, that is insanity. And the only way we're gonna get that message across, which I think is a necessary impetus to actually doing something about it, is to reveal in very clear, easy to follow ways what exactly is going on. And AOC has done that perhaps better than anyone else I've seen recently. They get away with murder in there. And she goes on to show that the small regulations we actually have, the president is immune to even most of those. And so while Congress people get away with murder, the president can do even worse. So uh, I would advise you go look up Frank Dale's Twitter account so you can see more of those interactions. Great work by AOC there on campaign finance. Thanks for watching this free clip of the Young Turks. Don't forget to become a TYT member today. For more exclusive content, join now at tyt.com/join.